hello friends welcome back to automation testing com. so today i come up with answers of all the java questions which i have posted on my blog earlier so many people asked about uh, answers of all the questions so today i come up with answers and as you can see i have divided them into different parts like basic question oops concept constructors static keyword exception handling multi-threading and collections number programs are there programs on if else for loop string programs so string programs are really important and array and matrix program programs on collections program programs on file handling date etc so this is combination of uh, theoretical questions as well as uh, programmatical questions so uh, today i come up with answers of all the questions so these are really important questions real time interview questions for java java for selenium so we'll go one by one all the questions like what are the different questions i have collected and i have uh, answered them okay so let me take you to my blog where uh, i have posted all the questions and answers so this is my blog so if you navigate to www.automationtestinginsider.com yeah this is my blog and here we have one tab java questions and answers so just click on that so here you can see all the questions and answers links are provided we have divided them into different parts okay so you can go through one by one all the links and this is around uh, 300 plus all the questions and this these questions are really important for all the levels like if you are fresher or intermediate or expert level this would really help f uh, to everyone and these are really important questions and uh, real time questions guys but before we move one by one all the what are the questions i have collected uh, let me just uh, show you other tabs as well on my blog so here we have java for selenium so whatever topics i am covering through youtube channel so here i am writing them in the form of blog or notes so you can uh, look into that so these are all uh, related to java for selenium topics which i have covered here so you can go through this here we have selenium tutorials as you can see all the selenium tutorials are covered here so recently i have uh, covered this mouse over and auto suggestions in selenium so let me just click on that so here you can see the program which we have covered uh, during the session and uh, here we have uh, uh, selenium questions and answers so i'm preparing the answers of all these selenium questions as well so soon i'll come up with answers of all these questions as well so let me just show you one by one what are the different questions which i have collected and uh, uh, what are the different uh, other tabs are there other links are there other questions okay so let me just start with basic questions so here you can see there are two more links variable questions and answers data types question questions and answers so here you can go through uh, these two links as well so here from basic like what is java so these are basic questions which i have collected and i have provided the answers what is bytecode what is nested class so these are really important questions as far as interview is concerned and this would really help you to prepare yourself for in for an interview explain explain stack and heap in java memory management what is singleton uh, singleton class in uh, java what is the difference between equals and double equal operator okay equals is the method and this is the operator so what is the difference what is reflection in java so these are different questions guys i have collected and i have provided the answers as well so let me just show you other tabs other links so here we have oops concept so what are oops concept advantages of oops provide real time examples of each and every oops concept so these are all related to oops concept can multiple inheritances inheritance uh, support in, in interface can we extend multiple in interfaces 
ओके सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन डिफरेंस बिटवीन एबस्ट्रैक्ट एंड इंटरफेस वॉट इज पॉलीमरफिजम हाउ वी कैन अचीव इट सो दीज आर डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन आई हैव कलेक्टेड एंड आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द आंसर्स एज वेल सो यू कैन गो थ्रू वन बाई वन ऑल दी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैथड ओवर लोडिंग एंड मैथड ओवर राइडिंग कैन फाइनल मैथड्स भी ओवर लोडेड सो यू कैन सी द प्रोग्राम एज वेल सो दीज आर रिलेटेड टू उप्स कंसेप्ट let me just show you some other examples other links so here we have exception handling and multi threading so what is exception and what is the base class of exception what is the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions in java what is the difference between throw and throws so these are really important questions how to handle exceptions in java we have try catch finally throw and throws keywords so you can go through all these uh, answers what is thread in java how does multi threading achieved so these are really important questions and answers i have posted on my blog so you can go through one by one what do you mean by thread safe what is the difference between heap in heap and stack these already i have covered in the basic question i guess so probably maybe uh, some some of the question might be duplicated but uh, you can ignore them what is the difference between array list and linked list these are some uh, collections related questions what is the difference between hash hash map and hash table and this is really important this number program section write a java program to print an integer value this is very basic program so i have started from basic to advanced level write a java program to swap two numbers using third variable they might ask this question in a different way as well like uh, write a java program to swap two numbers without using third variable so this is another way to ask the same question write a java program to add two numbers uh, again one important program write a java program to find largest number write a java program to print the entered number in reverse so suppose you are going to give input as 1 2 3 4 5 5 then you should get the output 5 4 3 2 1 write a program to print fees in number is divisible by 3 if divisible by 5 then print buzz and divisible by 15 then print freeze fees buzz so this is really tricky question so you can practice and i would recommend you to first try from your your end and then later you can if you still you are not not able to do then you can uh, look look for answer write a code to generate random numbers this is also very important write a program to print fibonacci series from 1 to 10 write a verify a, if given number is palindrome or not so what is palindrome number so first of all a palindrome number is a number that is same when written forward or backwards so this kind of information i have given here write a java uh, armstrong number program write a code to print the triangle of numbers so these are really important questions guys uh, which i have posted on my blog you can go through one by one and this questions would really help you write a java program to find odd uh, odd and even numbers print the prime numbers programs on if else as well write a java program to demonstrate nested if else statement write a java program to demonstrate for loop okay some basic questions as well as some advanced as well and string programs are really important as far as interview is concerned and uh, people definitely will ask you string related programs string and array are really important so write a java program to compare two strings 
write a Java program to find all the sub string of given string. So they will give some uh, they will give some string and they'll ask you to uh, find the sub string. Write a Java program to print the given string in reverse. So suppose input is hello Java, then output should be reverse of it. Okay. How to find whether a string ends with a specific character or text using Java program? Okay, write a Java program to split the given string. Let me just show you some other programs as well. Write a Java program to find length of given string. So this is uh, some basic questions are there, some advanced questions. So it's combination of all the questions. Write a Java program to convert a string to integer. How to convert lowercase to uppercase? In a given string, print the occurrence of each character. Suppose my input is Java for Selenium. Then we should count like correct each character, like how many times it occurs. Like A is two times, E is two times, F is one time, like that. Write a Java program where input I love India and output should be India love I. write a Java program where input I love Java and output should be Java and the middle should be reverse the mid middle ca characters of middle word should be reversed like E O O and L E V O L and last should be I write a Java program where string S is equal to this and output should be this in this format okay so these are really important questions guys let me just show you some other so suppose we have a string like this which contains some num numeric uh, numbers as well so eliminate the numbers alone print the alphabets so you should get this output so how to get that we need to uh, answer that right so write a java program reverse a string without using inbuilt function so how to reverse a string write a java program to delete duplicate values in a string array so this is a string array so we should delete the duplicate so what is duplicate here red is duplicate duplicate delete duplicate values in a string array i think we have I missed something here duplicate anyways I'll check this and I'll let you know I'll correct it we have uh, some other programs as well write a program where input is equal to this and output should be the count of like a two times b two times c three times like this subsequently we have to count each character how many uh, times it occurs so these are really important questions guys uh, string related we have similarly we have programs on collections we have programs on file handling date etc i'll show you some date related write a job program where input today today's date and output should be weekday or weekend so input should be some will uh, give some date and then you should uh, answer you should print whether it's monday uh, i mean whether it's a weekday or weekend so let's say like we have given some dates and then date of the week is monday so it should print based on the date so this is the day uh, date i have uh, given as input and that that is monday okay that was monday and that is that is not a weekend write a job program to print the input from a scanner write a job program to convert from fahrenheit to celsius so like this we have different questions on uh, like collections as well so programs on file handling date programs on threading exception 
programs on algorithm data structure and database so these are different uh, sections we have covered and recently i have added this button so uh, follow my uh, blog from here so just click on that so you'll get all the notification whenever i'll post some blogs here some articles so you'll get the notification through email okay and you can subscribe my channel by uh, clicking on this button as well so this is for today guys thank you for watching have a nice day and be happy and enjoy learning thank you so much bye bye